And here we are, I believe. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Huh? What was that? Mudkip, Snivy, Gumi, can you hear me? It's Esper. Thanks to her telepathy, t Esper can communicate with others from a distance. Yeah, Esper, we can hear you. It seems like you're doing all fine. I'll keep in touch with you like this from time to time during your adventure. Great, we'll be listening for you. How are Pancham and those guys doing? Are they ahead of us? Yeah, I managed to reach them a little while ago. What they said, it sounds like they're pretty far ahead of you, Mudkip. I see, good to know. We're not going to lose to them. Let's pick up the pace, team. I'm not sure the pace can be picked up any higher than this. I just don't know if I can keep up. Don't worry, I know you can do it. It'll be no problem. We've got to get through this dungeon either way, so we might as well be first. You guys think the same thing, right? Let's go. I like this team leader spirit that Mudkip has. I gotta admit, I really do like the spirit that your partner has in this game compared to Explorers. Because in Explorers, they really were just kind of a wimp. When I get it, that like that was their whole character arc, is that it goes from being all scared to being very, um... To just kind of, like... Uh, gaining courage, that's what I'm looking for. But, at least to me, it's, you know... They got a little bit to, like, uh, I fucking don't want to do anything with my life. And it's like, okay, now that I met you, I finally have courage all of a sudden. Whereas here, it's nice to see, you know, I'm not re I'm just kind of steering clear from everything. Mudkip's the one really making all the decisions. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to use an ether. So that's nice. And we'll get into more about character development, and especially comparisons, because I'm on the fucking defense for this game, that's for sure. Since, you know, everyone's loves the Masterful Explorers game, so you already know I'm taking the fucking this game's side. Thank you for pounding Goomy again. And, wow, Mudkip at level 7. I think Mudkip, or er, Stimey's, um... Already level 7, so... Alright, so, if we... Why would you do that? Alright, Goomy, I don't know why you came up there, because the whole point was for him to come down and we could triple team him, but yeah, whatever. Um, no, as you saw there... Where the hell... Oh. As you saw there... I tried attacking him from the side and nothing happened so there's another instance of you know you can really only do things head on and not at an angle I mean of course you can if you're in a big open room but however if you're on the corner like we kind of are right now like if I was the enemy and Gumi was me really wouldn't be able to attack but there are some cases where you can some where you can't and that's the point I've been trying to make wow they really gave me a progress device how nice of them I don't... Let's say warp to the fucking stairs. Oh, uh, somewhere. For whatever reason, I thought that's into the stairs. And I was like, that's a little bit of, like, cheating. I was gonna say, if that's the case, no wonder what's their faces are so fucking far ahead. Um, might as well just use it. You know, we're not gonna save it, so... Right, come down. Thank you. And Gumi's not gonna help me. Oh no, Mudkip. Holy fuck! Okay, this time they all they never force you to use your reviver seeds. However, always use your reviver seeds. There are very select times when you should not. Also, roll out, are you fucking kidding me? That's another one of these bullshit mystery dungeon moves. Like, there are a few. And if you want a good example, fucking, um, fall, not false swipes, what's it called? Fury. Fury. Fury attack, or, yeah, I think Fury attack. Complete bullshit in this game, in any mystery dungeon game. So roll out. Of course, I kind of just got very unlucky. But what happens if, say, I don't use? Well, in this game, if an enemy KOs you or your partner or ally, whoever's with you, they evolve. 
I don't know whose fucking idea that was, but... Yeah, they will evolve. So that, um... Turd... Turd, 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 turd face, I forget its name, would have evolved into its evolution. I totally remember. So, yeah, don't let that happen, everyone. Just don't. Because what will then happen is you will all be fucking just running away from that as it takes out the rest of your teammates who aren't running away from it. It's always what happens. Um, might as well eat the berry now, or not the berry, the apple now, since I know at some point I'm gonna have to. Um, there we go. Um, if Pokemon are sleeping, what's nice is most cases, um, your party is, like, kind of smart with, like, tiptoeing around them, so it's not like they're just gonna up and walk and wake them up. And it's normally, like, if you want them woken up, they'll do it, but if not, then... I'm gonna use a fucking radar orb, might as well. Let's see, is it coming this way? No. Radar orb's nice. If you don't wanna, you know, fight Pokemon, then you don't have to. Is that the stairs up? No, I thought I saw the fucking stairs again. It's hard, because I have to, like, fucking squint. Um, oh. I was gonna go down, so good thing I actually went up. Mindfu, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm. No, I'll fight you only because I want the experience. Good call. Oh, level nine. Wow. Okay, now let's go on. I think we're pretty far into the forest now. We still haven't reached the goal? <sighs> oh, look at that! It looks like the trees clear up out there. Let's go check it out. This place looks a bit different from the clearings we've been passing through. Maybe, just maybe, we're getting close to the goal? Uh, where's Gumi? Huh? You're right. Gumi's not here. Where do you wander off to? This is Esper here. Can you hear me? We can hear you, Esper. Where are you guys now? I could be wrong, but I think we're pretty close to the goal. Really? Well, congratulations on that. Seems like you might have gone past, gone there before Pancham and his team, huh? Really? Yes. The last time I contacted them, they didn't seem to get along that far. I guess you must have passed by them at some point or another. Really? Awesome! All right, we might just win this one. Let's get going. But, will Gumi really be alright all alone? Oof. We just abandoned one of our teammates. That's never good to do. Snivy, look there! You think those could be the flags that Mr. Farfetch was talking about? There are two of them. So that means we really are the first team to make it here. That does seem to be true, but more importantly... What? Gumi? Oh, yeah, he did wander off at some point, didn't he? It is a bit worrisome. Looks like we've arrived someplace new. Yeah, I got the feeling we gotta be close to the flags now. It's Pancham and Shelmet! We gotta hurry and get that flag! Alright, we cleared the dungeon first. Ah! Too bad for you guys! We were number one today! Ha 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 ha! What were we, though? So... You lost Gumi? Yeah. And where's Gumi now? Back in the dungeon somewhere, I guess. You're useless! What were you two thinking? I'm going to look for him right now. Mudke Mudkip's team cleared the dungeon first. Well done on that accomplishment. However, I cannot praise you for leaving a member of your team behind. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a second. I wonder what would have happened if I actually, like, let him die instead of use the Reviver Seed. Guess it didn't really matter in the end, huh? I just didn't want that one fucker evolving. Let me tell you what I think about it. 
The members of a team should look after one another. They work towards their goal together while caring for each other. And that might perhaps be even more important than clearing a dungeon. Hmm. What they're saying is, always use your reviver seeds. Even though we give you the choice to just say, ah, fuck them. Always do it, or else you're kind of a little bit of a dick. <laughs> now that's enough standing around and moping. You may still be lost in there. Why don't you go look for him? Yes, sir. And now we get to do it again! Haha, <laughs> JK. Mr. Farfetch, I would like to go search as well. <laughs> now that was fun to watch. Oi, I'll have no snickering from you! Yes, sir. And so the school day ended, and after school, I'm glad we finally found Gumi before anything happened to him. But, boy, I really messed things up again. All I could think about was being first to clear the dungeon. Nothing else mattered. Hey, Snivy, do you ever think I'm irritating? Huh? Pancham and Shelmet are always telling me that I'm annoying or whatever. So this isn't the first time something like that has happened. I just feel like I just cause problems for everyone around me. So, Snivy, what do you think? Do you think I'm irritating, too? Uh, what should I say? Do I think Mudkip can be irritating? Hmm. I can either say you can be, or I can potentially lie and say I don't think you are. I mean, in this case scenario, I don't think you would ever say I think you can be. I think I just gotta stick by his side and say I don't think you are. That's not true. Just as much to blame for what happened with Gumi today, but still... It's true that you drag others into bad situations without thinking. I guess I might end up with others feeling troubled sometimes. It so might be better to try to keep other people's feelings in mind a bit more. All right, now I've got an idea of. Now I've got to get that idea across to Mudkip somehow. What? Really? I see. Yeah, you're right. I'm always rushing ahead on my own without thinking about other people. Uh, it looks like I may have made things even worse. Oh, by the way, it doesn't even matter what you choose in that situation. I knew it. I just make messes for everyone. It ruin everything. Sorry, Snivy, for always being such a pain. I'll try to be more careful from now on. What do you mean, always? This is like the second day I met you. <laughs> but still, I can't even laugh, because, aw, poor Mudkip. Ah, oh, dear, I didn't think my words would hit Mudkip quite so hard. It's hard to get your feelings across to others sometimes. Here to arise feelings of discontent. The power. I can feel it growing. 